Chapman. We're going to get started. We have a lot of people that are going to come live. We have people that are going to play this back. So hopefully either way, thank you for giving us your time tonight. I know it's a crazy time of year and <laughs> it's kind of a little wackadoodle. So thank you for hopping on, especially if you hopped on live. Um, I'm just going to make Jamie a host as well. And then I will share my screen. Let's see. I don't know how to make you a co-host and not just a regular host. You might just have to unmute yourself. No, <laughs> it's just me. In just that first corner of my picture, there's three dots. It should be able to make me co-host from there. It says make host, but I don't know. Maybe it'll take me. That'll make you not a host. So let's just leave it how it is. Okay. We'll just do. We'll just do unmute. You guys know this is fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, hi We're Sarah. How's it um, going? Can I just say I'm obsessed with your uh, Barbie love stick right now? Like guys. Yes. Like <laughs> maybe one person on the planet other than most well, like <laughs> two people on the planet that can like rock those lips and that you are the other one. So I have to wear a lipstick when I have my hair blonde because otherwise my skin like blends into my hair. <laughs> It's so white. It's fine. Okay. Um, okay. So hi, Cindy. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Sarah. We're going to share the screen. Um, we're going to do a little presentation. Me and Jamie are just going to walk through this. It's casual, but also formal. It's fine. If you have questions, post them in the chat and either Jamie and I will grab them um, as you guys go. I like to see the chat as I'm leading, which might be annoying for everyone, but... I like to kind of watch comments and stuff. So I just leave it up on the screen. Hopefully that's not super annoying for everyone. Um, I'm going to just make it a little bit down here so you guys can see this amazing picture of me and Jamie. <laughs> What's wild, you guys, is that we went to Bali this year in January, which feels like 10 million years ago. But just a few months ago, 11 months ago, we actually started this year together. And weirdly, I just thought about this now, are kind of ending the year together, which is wild. This has been kind of a, a wild ride. So. Well, and in Bali, we were like, where did those girls go that just like dreamt so big and sw swung for the fences so, so hard? And like, where, why are we so tired? Remember, yeah. like, they were, like, yes. they were, like, I'm not old enough to feel this tired. But it was, it wasn't, a, it wasn't us. It was just an alignment thing. And I love how you're like, this is so low key, but also it's really formal. So yeah. <laughs> it's low key. Cause that's just how I roll. It's always going to be semi-casual whenever I'm around, but we definitely want to deliver the stuff that matters and that you guys want to take away. So that's the whole goal. So we're going to bring things into a nutshell, not overwhelm, um, and just kind of give you the basics so you can have a really good foundation on to make a decision with. That's really like my whole goal. You guys know me. I like to simplify things. Um, but it is weird that we started out the year very like burned out. And here we are after this whole year's journey, like finally in this alignment that we've been looking for. So that's super exciting. So that's one of the reasons why I actually wanted to name this call, like go with grace, because that really is something that I've had to do extensively the last few years and just really allow that in my life. And I think Bali is where I really was able to like, let myself just be for a second and like not worry about what was next or what was happening or, um, worry about the future it was just sort of like, let's see what happens. So, okay. So tonight, these are the basic topics we're going to go over. Um, we're going to introduce Hugh and Grace. So for those of you that have popped into the website or talked to Jamie or I or your sponsor or whatever about the company, we're just going to go into it a little bit more in depth just so you understand it a little bit better. Um, we're going to talk about hormone health in the coming year, um, why this, why now, comp plan highlights. I'm specifically going to talk about my comp plan highlights. <laughs> Jamie can add in what she likes about it as well. And then we'll give you a really good couple visuals that you can screenshot and take away. Um, we'll talk about the advocate benefits and bundles. We'll allow for some questions at the end and final thoughts. So I can be verbose. We're going to try and hustle through <laughs> as much as we can. So 
I'm going to let Jamie introduce introduce herself and I'll introduce myself. I'm going to keep it really short. So I am Jace. I live in St. George, Utah. I like to focus on three facts and one fun. So that's what I'm going to do. I live in St. George, Utah. Um, I have visited 30 countries. I've moved over 20 times <laughs> in the last 20 years. Um, we definitely, Mike and I have two boys. We live a very fast paced, um, get the most out of life lifestyle. And it wasn't until this year when our son, our oldest son got diagnosed with autism and a myriad of other things that we were like, oh my gosh, we have to slow down and like stay in one place. And so we found our place in St. George, Southern Utah. We're here for the, for the moment. Um, and that's kind of where we've settled, but I, wanted to just kind of share one other fun thing about me, which Jamie knows this, but I started horseback riding lessons again this year. It's something that I've loved since I was a little girl. And I was like, I'm going to start making time for those things that were like, this is like a part of me and important to me. And no one's ever going to do this for me. It's just time to kind of run with it. And that's sort of been the theme of my whole year. But that's my one fun share is that I did start horseback riding lessons again at 42 years old and I haven't died yet. So it's great. Okay. Jamie, you go. I love that. And I, and I know that you're doing that, but I, I love that because I also just said, you know, like we have like the YOLO, right? We have one life. Like I am not going to wait. I think that's been just my big lesson the last few years is like, there's no guarantees of a tomorrow or five years from now or whatever. And so I just adopted a horse. <laughs> Um, I rescued a horse. This was a very big impulse purchase. No, she was not. Um, <laughs> she wasn't. I really thought a lot about it ahead of time, but I didn't know exactly what I was, you know, it's, it's a big thing. It's a big commitment. Um, but I also had that, like, you know, what? I'm going to start really leaning into joy, keep pivoting towards peace and joy and the things that really bring me a lot of happiness. Um, and with that, when you choose one thing, you automatically have to release something else, right? Like is if you're intentionally choosing good things for your life, it's forcing out, like it's forcing out something else. And it's, it's going to force out some of the, the tolerance for the crappy stuff. Um, but I'm Jamie Shepard. Um, I have known Jace, uh, for many years now, and I feel so excited to get to do this all together and get to be, uh, now teammates, but I, um, I don't know. If, okay. Three facts and a fun so I uh, live in Vermont. I just moved here from Oregon a year and a half ago. I did hold a geographic and move my rescue farm of um, of animals over here. I now have chickens and I have five dogs and three cats and a horse, like I just said. So um, really living the homestead um, wannabe life and um, was a school counselor and a waitress for school counselor for 12, waitress for 20 years. A yoga teacher, which is um, what led me to start my wellness retreats, and um, that Jace that Jace mentioned, and we had we had one in Bali at the beginning of the year. So, um, I am just so I don't know. I'm just in love with life right now because I finally feel like I have shown up for myself, um, and that's really what I'm excited to kind of share. I, I feel like. For the last couple of years, I've just been struggling with a lot of trauma and, and health issues and just feeling really stuck and unhappy. Um, and in trying to figure that out and tease that out and try to like, it's like whack-a-mole. You try to take care of one thing and something else pops up. I know Jace can relate. To, I think all of us can relate to that, right? Where you're like, oh my God, like, just give me a freaking break. Um, but I think as soon as I kind of like stopped and just like got quiet, um, and just really had to go inward for a long time. It wasn't an overnight thing go inward and say like, what, where are my values? What are, what do I want from this life? What are the things that I am no longer, or I do not want to compromise on and what is, and how is that looking in my life and helping pivot? So I say that because a lot of that fed this transition for us into, into partnering with you and grace and leaving big business is a long time career for both of us. And we won't talk a lot about that, but I do want to say like, you'll hear kind of from the lens of, we started this with a lot of experience in the network marketing industry. We came from with a background of wellness for, for a decade plus now. Um, and if you have that awesome, I just wanted to 
to mention that because if you don't, if you're brand new to this industry, to this space, um, to obviously to this company or just to us, that's great too. Um, you know, like it's the, the beauty of this is that it's winnable at any level. There's wins and there's a mission and there's a place for you at any level. So I don't want you to get intimidated by something. We're going to jump right into science <laughs> and stuff like that. And so I wanted to kind of front load and say like that we're all learning together, which has pretty actually been pretty fun. Like we're all brand new together and starting fresh. So yeah. And okay. I will say too, like, I'm never going to be the hormone guru. Like if you ever need an example of somebody who's not the hormone expert, it's me. I am the consumer. Like I am the epitome example of who needs to buy and wants to buy this stuff because I deeply care about what goes into my body, what's going around my body, what I allow in, what I let go of. But I'm not the I'm not nerding out on all of the science. I'm not like I wanted to partner intentionally with a company that I know is that I know is like, this is their bread and butter. This is what they do. I don't have to think about it. Like, and what's interesting is I came into this thinking like, I'm not going to be that hormone girl, but the more and more I get into this, the more I learn like how much this is everywhere, like in our every single day in our whole well-being. And it's impossible not to get sucked into that part of it. So if you're like me and you're just like, oh, I love clean products. I love the idea of hormone safe things. I like, I need this in this season of my life, whatever it is, like I will always be your go-to girl for that. Okay. We're going to get started. So Hugh and Grace, I'm going to shut the chat just so um, this will show up a little bit better, but Hopefully Jamie can see it. Okay. So, uh, he welcome Hugh and Grace introducing Hugh and Grace, um, simple modern wellness. Just so you guys know, I just wanted to mention this really quickly. All of the graphics, these are all ingredients straight from the Hugh and Grace formulation piece in our knowledge center. This is some of the ingredients that we use in the products. And I wanted to kind of put those throughout the presentation. So any colors you see, any pictures you see, it's all hue and gray stuff. Okay. So the first thing that I really wanted to make sure that you connected with was hue and grace. This is hue and grace, these two little babies. Um, this is one of the reasons why I loved this company because it has such a special background story. And I hope that you can go on Hugh and Grace's website and read it from Sarah and Ben's perspective. They are the CEOs of the company, but their babies really started this whole journey for them. Um, they struggled with infertility for a really long time, ended up having both of their sisters become surrogates for them. And that's how they had Hugh and Grace. And that's what they named this company after in honor of them, in honor of that struggle and that journey. Um, and one of the reasons why they felt so compelled to build a company around hormone safe products to help improve and elevate home skin, um, health, anything that goes in, on, and around the body. So Jamie, do you have anything to add to this piece of it? No, I think you touched on the, the main points. Um, and, you know, I think that it was part of that for infertility journey that it was even like nine, nine, eight, nine years into that, where the doctor finally was like, Hey, you should, are, are you eating sweet potatoes? Sweet potatoes are hormone disruptor. And it was like this wait, what, what I'm eating, you know, and the whole premise of the fact that like, we're putting something, you know, that she's putting for Sarah's putting fertility medicine, you know, like this hormone cream on her leg. And then the next day, her hormone levels were like skyrocketed. And so the wheels just started clicking and turning as far as like, okay, wait a minute, like we're almost a decade into this unexplained infertility journey. And just now you're talking about the things that I'm putting in my body and on my body. And like, how do we not know this? And they were, you know, I wish, you know, like meeting Sarah and hearing Sarah and Ben's story is just really very inspiring. And you can see their heart in the mission that they've created, but they were, they're people of, you know, highly educated, well, high, lots of means, like they had these amazing careers and they stopped and said, you know what, we got our blessing. We got what we were waiting for most in the life. And now we want to pay this forward. And so it completely like pivoted their life. <laughs> Yeah, to just pay this mission forward, you know, and be like, we want to be the, we want to make this knowledge mainstream. 
Um, because it does feel really daunting, right? To feel like I have to be a hormone expert. I have to know all these things layered in with the fact that like, we literally have companies marketing to our ignorance and trying to like almost predatory on us. So like being able to be that brand, like you said, Jace, it's like, I can just trust. Yeah. I can full confidence. Yep, exactly. That that to me means a lot because I've felt like I've been bamboozled as an as an um, consumer so many times when I'm trying to go find doing all my homework to try to find the clean product and then only to find out that I was the victim of greenwashing, which is just a marketing tactic to say something's clean when it's not. You know, it's full of, of chemicals. So, which leads perfectly into the next slide because she they say they they like basically created a solution for that exact same thing. And one thing I did want to say one thing about this particular company that I actually that built like instant credibility with me was their ingredient list because they also won't use clean ingredients that disrupt hormones. So it's not even just that their products are, and their ingredients are clean. It's that they're also very selective of the clean ingredients that they're using specifically to not disrupt any of those hormones and to promote them. And it's important to understand this isn't like a hormone balancing. It's really supportive, promoting, protecting, right? Like trying to prevent. I'm really big on prevention. I'm going to hit menopause here probably in the next 10 years. And I'm like, how can I prepare my body for this? Um, so this next slide, I want Jamie to kind of go over a little bit as well. She'll get into the importance of hormone health, a little bit of the science and just kind of give a better overall view of that. Yeah. So when you, I'm so glad you mentioned that. And it's, on, I'm glad that it's on this slide that they're like the idea of clean. Like I think we've, especially in the wellness world, we come to get really familiar and comfy with this idea of like clean food or clean products. What really blows my mind, the more I've been learning about this is that there's no FDA regulation. There are no FDA standards yeah. for anything in the beauty industry. Um, it's the wild west. And so people are really going to be the victim or the benefactor or whatever they're consuming. And it's often at the hands of really clever marketing. Um, one thing that I really, that like really sold me originally was the fact that like every product with you and Grace has um, training and calls by the actual formulators. Their, their testing and results is published. It's all forward facing. There's so much transparency because um, you know, like, because it's because there is such a it's such a murky industry and there, and it's a trillion dollar industry right where um where people are trusting that what we're putting in on and around our bodies are doing what they say it's going to do um i think i want to say first though that hormone health isn't just about our sex hormones it's not just about head and any you know, like jc mentioned menopause it's not just about us as a woman aging and when we get into our forties um, and now all of a sudden we're like, wait, where's this belly fat coming from? Why am I so tired? Why do I feel so sore? Why am I waking up at 3 a.m. every single night to pee? It's not hormone health. Yes, that's part of it. But hormone health is, you know, it, it impacts every, our children, our men and women of all ages. So that's for everything from our thyroid, um, our insulin, you know, regulating our blood sugar, um, our thyroid's helping with our metabolism. We've got our, um, uh, cortisol levels, which is our stress, our kind of stress management system. Anyone feel stressed at least <laughs> once a day or on a, uh, regularly, like, um, Jamie and I both have real stressful day. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> I was like, if you were wondering, Jace Mercury is in retrograde today. <laughs> um, and so our, you know, our sex hormones, which are estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, um, our happy hormones, right. Our dopamine and serotonin, like those are all, all these chemical, like these chemical factors in our body, right. They're the chemical messengers that get to our cells that tell our organs how to function and they regulate mood. They regulate digestion. They regulate weight. They regulate our brain health and our cognition, our immune system, um, our heart, our breathing, like it's all, it's all interconnected. And so it really is like um, full well-being, like everything. Yeah. yeah. Like, and I, I think I just wanted to make like a delineate, like a distinguishment here because I do think in the industry that we were in before, which was also health and wellness, that to me was a different kind of care. 
self-care. To me, this is a much more elevated approach. It's a much more quality of life approach, a much more like overall well-being, mental health, internal health, physical health, spiritual health, like everything. It's a full well-being body, yeah. process, I think. Exactly. And our body is designed to, to handle all this and to stay ba- balanced. Like ideally our body is, you know, this beautifully made being that can handle the stress and handle the toxins and handle, um, you know, the different ages and seasons of our cycle and things like that. But we are fighting these unseen forces, right? So hormone health, hormone balancing is, is something that we have to really be intentional about as we are facing stressful stress factors, Um, environmental factors, nutritional factors, you know, there are more toxins in our food, there's toxins in our plastics, there's toxins in our, you know, the stuff that we're cleaning our, you know, like today, even I was at the doctor's office, and I put the anti, you know, touching the surfaces, and I put the antiseptic lotion on my hand, and I was like, these are just, I just put toxins right into my hand, like we're just inadvertently, you know, like, touching and consuming and around toxins that are adding to that toxic load. And the toxic load is that we all have a toxic load and it it's just our body's natural um, compound effect of the chemicals we're putting on our, you know, I think the average woman puts on like 165 chemicals a day on their skin, the average man, 85. Um, and that's through what we're putting on in and around. Um, And so our toxin load is what our, you know, our liver, our lymphatic system, our body is designed to flush out these toxins. But when we're overriding our body with, you know, the toxins that we're taking in are, you know, kind of imbalancing our body's ability to naturally detoxify, that's a problem. And that a lot of like, you know, chemicals like that are in like fragrances are literally mimicking our hormones and our and tricking our body and our cells into taking in these fake hormones like like in a scented candle or a Febreze or an airwick freshener right the parabens and the phthalates like those have the same molecular structure as a hormone does and then our cells get tricked into taking that in and then it completely just starts to break down our body's ability to naturally function naturally just dis- detoxify and things like that and so we're not saying harm like human grace is going to do to, you know, like to be the thing that balances our hormones. That's a balance of a lot of things. That's importance of fitness and nutrition. That's the importance of lifestyle choices. That's the importance of helping take, you know, thyroid insulin, um, you know, our, um, our uh, taking control of our cycle, um, our, you know, cortisol levels and like making, a making healthy choices all around, but we're, we're naive if we think that we can do that all without the help of supplementation, without filling in the gaps um, of where those kind of the Swiss cheese, as we're trying to like figure all this out, we, our bodies need that extra support. We need the, um, we need the help. And so the human grace is, is helping create options in our body, like our creating options for us as consumers that we can swap out. We can not having to go buy a whole bunch of brand new things. We can say like, I'm already cleaning my house. Why not clean my house with something that's not going to be full of hormone disrupting toxins, right? I am already want to have, you know, 44. I want my skin to look beautiful, like, and, and to look like have nice longevity. Um, and so like, why not make sure I'm putting on skincare that is going to not cause, you know, cause problems when I'm trying to, to cure them. So um, all of the ingredients that we use are vegan, plant-based, non-GMO. They are, um, you know, organically sourced. They're all tested. They're safe from heavy metals. Um, and they're all made in the United States. And so it's all um, in these like heavily controlled testing facilities, formulation facilities to make sure that we are not inadvertently putting, even if, you know, putting like ingredients together that are contrary to our mission. That's something that's really, really regular, rigorously um, monitored and controlled. And even um, like, even our packaging is like BPA free. They make sure that like the cleaning stuff comes in amber bottles. The serums come in amber bottles. Like it's all meticulously <laughs> picked. Yep. Well, and a lot of toxins leach through plastics, right? Leach through. So they're trying to be really careful. Like we want to make sure we're not putting our products or, you know, toxin-free products into 
um, a material that's going to then leach toxins into our products. So it's been, you know, and just be good to the environment, like um, really being environmentally friendly to, um, and then above all that, it's just also aesthetically pleasing. It's a really modern, elevated, luxurious brand that I think also just, it looks, it looks nice. You know, we're, we're investing in quality. Um, there's a lot of cheaper options out there, but they're cheaper because the formulators cut corners and they filled instead of creating whole food and, and sourcing from, and, you know, safe ingredients because there's no FDA, regu you know, over, like regulations, they can cut corners and fill things with, you, you know, fill their products with fillers and with chemicals and synthetic fragrances and colors and scents. Um, and so what, what Ben and Sarah did was create an amazing um, panel. I bet, uh, Jason, do you want to talk about this? I just thought, I thought this was so interesting. Like this is, again, I'm not the one that nerds out on all the stuff, even though I kind of am becoming that. And it's really weird, but I will say like these kinds of things are the things that really mattered to me just coming in from like a total consumer perspective and just being like, oh my gosh, like this isn't just like small town machine. Like they brought in a legit team from a lot of different areas. So obviously like Ben and Sarah have their own personal story with this and their own experience through this, but they've, you know, got with OBGYNs, they've got with environmental testing, um, experts, they've got, you know, endocrinologists, they've got like all these fertility doctors, like this huge board that is formulating and like really think critically thinking through not only to make sure that the product that they're putting out there is what they say it is, but also they're crafting products that are going to perform in ways that they perform. And I think when you really think about that and you think, I mean, I don't know, I guess I haven't researched enough other companies that do similarly clean products, um, but I don't see anybody else doing this. I don't see these huge formulating. I mean, I see these mass produ producing situations going on. And for me, this was like really a cool part of this is just that they're very meticulous with their team, with their corporate team, with their net, like with everything. They're very, Sarah and Ben are very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Discerning. Yeah. Like yeah. they're, yeah. I was going to say particular, but it is more than that. It's discerning. It's like, if this doesn't fit with the mission, it doesn't fit with us period. Yeah. And Sarah says all the time, if you watch any call, you'll probably hear her say, but she goes, you know, Ben, she goes, Ben and I are very smart, but we surround ourselves with even smarter people. Um, and so like this, this is just even, I don't even think this is the full, it's not, uh, this is like, this is not even the full team anymore. Cause they continue to find the, the leaders in the industry. And I think like there's over 400 years combined of green chemistry green chemistry experience in the team which i think is just goes to show with their commitment to um you know to what they're bringing to us and to us as into our client to our customers and consumers you know they have found the formulators of some of these really well respected um well sought out in group products like like for the hydrate detox the creator of the hydrate detox was the creator of element and liquid IV. And so they went and found the creators of these top products and they said, okay, that's great, but make it, can you make it better? And we want to make it less salt, less sugar, but we also want there to be healing benefits too. And so I just love that they're, that's kind of the, the focus, right. Is to get yeah. more bang for your buck. There's you're replacing a lot of things. There's a solution that you're solving with the product this as something that the products are all doing. But then there's also this healing component. It's like little, they're sliding in a bunch of healing and extra nourishing benefits versus just the, the you know, the objective of the product. So one thing that I loved when I first started looking into this and I was talking to Jamie about it, she would always be like, just see for yourself, just try the products, try the products, try the products, see for yourself. And it was weird because I come from a world of here's all the information. Here's everything. Here's what to expect. Here's what you're going to do. Here's how you're going to use it. Here's how it's going to work. I mean, just like a mass amount of information and this really the products speak for themselves. Like that is how you lead with this product. Um, I think our, our consumer and our customer is a much, is an elevated customer. These people are people who are smart. They know what they want 
to put in on and around their bodies. They aren't just looking for quick fixes or shortcuts. People who buy Hue and Grace are people who want to do better and want to know better. And I think that that is a really cool thing. For me, that has been one of the more elevating pieces of coming into this company and this culture is just the people that you are surrounded by. It's a completely different, it's a completely different circle, but that is exactly what I was craving. That's exactly what I needed. Um, and it's just been so welcoming and just like a hug to have a, a smart, elevated, mature conversation around true health, true well-being. And just the overall essence of how you carry yourself every day and the quality of your life, which is so important to me, whether again, like Jamie was saying, whether you're 20 years old or 50 years old or a boy or a girl, even going through um, this mental health stuff with my 13 year old, you know, he hit puberty and he just whacked out, like everything just went crazy. And so for me researching, okay, like what are we putting in his body? What's going around his body? It matters a lot. It matters a lot. And so this was, yeah, the human growth hormone, like that is like, yeah, like that is, you know, it was in all of us, but especially children, right. Especially in those teenage children. And like, um, it's amazing how, you know, like how young, like there is a study I don't have, and I was just trying to look through my notes, see if I had this, well, there is a study of like showing like the fetus of a brand new baby and like how compared, like how many heavy metals and toxins are already present in a brand new infant baby because of what it's being absorbed through the mother, um, which is, which is terrifying, right? Like, um, well, didn't they just find like the microplastics in the first human heart ever or whatever? And it was like, what is happening? It's just like, it's that's exactly it though. It's just everything that we're that's around us that we're using regular lotions, regular fragrances, like even cutting boards that are plastic, like you're getting little plastics in your food when you cut on a plastic. I mean, it's like everything. Yeah. Well, and I think like a lot of, um, when we're looking at like those sex hormones, like, you know, whether it's men or women, like I think people, well, more people now than ever, um, are struggling with infertility and it's, it's for a variety of reasons, but a lot of it is because of that toxic, those toxin exposures, because of the micro the microplastics, the overall compound effect of the toxin load. I think the number one thing that dropping testosterone in men is fragrances in the home. Like I already talked about. So like, it just, for me, like you said, Jace, it's just this grown up conversation. I've loved talking about health and wellness for 10 years and for longer than much longer than that. Yeah. Um, you know, as a school counselor, I was talking about mental health and emotional wellness. Um, and now I just feel like we're, there's a much, there's just a much bigger needed conversation around that. And I have loved learning about hormone health. I've taken I've, that a lot of studying early on, on in the year to try to figure out my own health and you know, my own health struggles really spurred my desire to learn, but I'm by no means a hormone health expert. I can't, I can't even say the word, but like, uh, like, and I don't, I will continue to learn because it's just naturally like, it's fascinating, but really for me, it's like infuriating how, mm-hmm. how much we're just hoped, you know, kept in the dark around things that are literally killing us. Yeah. You know, so, um, so Not with that, that's that's kind of, yeah. Go ahead. I'm just going to say, that's another reason why I think that this is so nice because it really is like the gateway into all of this. And I, like, I love being at that first step, like where I can be like, okay, let's simplify this down. Just make a simple swap. Like Mm -hmm. you're already using skincare. You're already using cleaning stuff. You're already this. So like, let's make sure that it's not disrupting your hormones and getting you out of balance. That's really, I, I mean, on the most basic simplified level, if you care about this in any capacity, I think that this is an easy sell. A hundred percent one. And there's no, like, it's not coming and it's the whole mission of the company isn't to like shame you or be like, no, you can never have a diet Coke ever again or whatever. It's about finding that. Would never that. align with a company like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and like, it's just about like, about just one step at a time, making smarter choice. And it's help people help meeting people where they're at. You know, yeah. and some people are like, I want to go all in. I need to clean up my entire life. Then great. If someone's like, you know, I just, can I just start with um, yeah. some 
care. You know, I've been using Noxzema for 20 years. Like, is there, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about Noxzema, but you know what I mean? I've been using the stuff I bought at CVS for 20 years. Like I want to make a uh, more intentional choices. And I think that that's the whole point is just to make it more mainstream, like make this more the, the standard, the standard, right? Like yeah. just get it, the education out there so that people understand what's going on. So, um, okay. And know so that you've got a brand that you're partnering with to say like, okay, I know I can trust you and grace and knowing like what's coming in the pipeline product wise, like as we transition into talking about the business opportunity, it's really exciting to know that like we are partnered with a company that's just, it's only, you guys, we didn't even mention it's only two and a half years old. Like yeah. the catalog is already amazing of the, what we can offer, what we can offer people to help, you know, in their homes with their entire families. It's all family safe. It's all kids safe. It's all, um, you know, the website even says it's pregnancy safe. And um, like knowing that what's coming in the pipeline is going to just only enrich the three verticals of wellness, of home care and skincare. Um, and then we also launched a textile vertical, like yeah. a textile line this, this winter too. And so knowing that like thing, they've already told us that we're getting like a body butter and an exfoliating face wash that doubles as a mask that is on our blue tansy line, which has a lot of healing components as well. So the, uh, and then a bunch of stuff in the wellness pipeline that I just feels really invigorating and exciting. Cause you know, we coming from a place where you're like, I like knowing that there's always something fun and new coming to, to share and to add to, you know, add to what we, the toolkit that we have to offer. Yeah. And I definitely was in a place too, where I just wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to feel kind of that drive and that excitement and that ambition again, and just have like a real simple, but direct niche. I just wanted to be able to like, give people something that they love, that's going to help them. And that's it. Like, I just wanted it to be that simple. And I love that it's diverse and it goes into home and skincare and not just wellness, because for me, that's interesting. That is exciting. That is stuff that we do every single day and I can learn and I can grow and I can, you know, there's never going to be a time where I just am stuck and stagnant. There's always going to be something else that is in one of these areas that is relevant to my life and in season. And so that was exciting. And I really do think that hormone health is going to dominate the conversation in 2024 and the health and wellness industry. And I think being at the forefront of that with a company who's already leading in that space is incredible. Like that's a huge opportunity for everybody. Yeah. Well, and you know, hormone health is where gut health was five, 10 years ago. Right. Yeah. I'm like, how much more competent and knowledgeable are we collectively as a society about gut health and probiotics yeah. and you know, like you are what you eat kind of thing. And so, and like the inflammation that we're feeling. And so, um, but also gut health isn't going away because half the foods you buy at the grocery store have GMO, GMO genetically modified ingredients in it. Right. So this is, these are here to stay. Um, I told Jason I wanted to speak on the slide because if we go back to the beginning when we're talking about the different types of hormones that are in this, I'm gonna keep this really brief. Um, but the way I was taught about hormones is like you know, those four primary ones, thyroid, insulin, sex hormones, and cortisol, cortisol being the hormone that's released when we're really when we have a lot of stress in our lives, which is all of us, especially just at all of us, period. Um, and it all looks different, but when our bodies will keep those relatively balanced and they're low, I was taught that they're like the four legs of a chair. And so when one leg is particularly like too, you know, too much cortisol, it's going to make the leg of that chair a lot longer. Um, then it's going to make that chair uneven and wobbly, um, and non-functional. Um, one of the things that happens is when our hormones get way too out of balance, um, and our body's ability and our body's desire to keep things homeostasis and balance is it's going to steal from the other parts, the other hormones in our body to regulate and to balance out. So while if you're struggling with long-term stress and cortisol for a long time, like for me example, um, my cortisol levels were, were super high. My adrenals were overproducing for a really long time. Um, and then it started tapping into my sex hormones, my estrogen, my progesterone, um, my, you know, my insulin, I started having some insulin resistance. 
um, my what started gaining weight, my thyroid started acting all funky because your body is going to steal from those other areas of your hormone health to try as it may to regulate it, which is really, which is really crazy because your cortisol specifically is that fight or flight. You're feeling like going back to caveman days, your cortisol was, you know, spikes up when there's like a woolly mammoth about to eat you or a saber tooth tiger about to eat you. And so your body goes into the fight or flight thing. I've got to survive. And those are going to get the priority in your body of hormones versus versus reproducing. You know, your body's going to say, well, I don't necessarily need to um, reproduce right now because there's a saber tooth tiger trying to eat me. So yeah. I, that feeds into the idea of hustle culture because we are literally working ourselves and hustling ourselves into unhealth. And as health coaches, we're literally like making ourselves so sick um, and then blaming ourselves for not working hard enough or not doing enough personal development in order to stay successful, right? In the eyes of the, the, the situation we are in. And so this happens in so many aspects of our lives. I would do this to myself when I was a school counselor, where I would just work so, so hard and trying to, and, and then end up feeling like my body would just shut down because, because I was just over like overworking and not taking care of ourselves, taking care of myself. And I wasn't being intentional around the environment I was in and the community I was in and how I was slowing down and really creating a lifestyle that kept me well. Right. And so the why this why now is because like, now is the time to say like, this is my line in the sand and I'm going to make sure my building a life that is in alignment with feeling good, leaning into joy, leaning into happiness, leaning into health. Um, and not, and like really challenging those aspects of our life that are really just sucking the life out of our health. I know I just yeah. like went on a big old soapbox. No, you're fine. Things. No, I think that that's good. I mean, there, it's been really interesting moving into the same industry, just to a different environment. Like it's, it's fascinating how much environment really plays into your overall health. And that one thing that I love about Hugh and Grace is that they are, focused on in, on, and around the body. It's not just how your body's performing. It's not just how you are performing. It's not just, you know, there's just so many different elements to it. And I think I love this quote, what hustle culture doesn't understand is that resting isn't taking your foot off the gas. It's putting fuel back in your tank. And I think Hugh and Grace gets that on a very deep level. And it's within the culture. It's within the community. It's within the network. It's within the advocates. Like there is a definite difference in the culture, um, and just how they approach health and well-being in general. I, there's a, a quote that I used to say all the time, which was hustle culture without boundaries is just burnout. And Hugh and Grace is all about boundaries. Like you have to have boundaries within your health structure in order to stay balanced. And I love that. So, um, why this, why now? I think for me, it was three things. These are the three touch points that I just wanted you to maybe think about as you're kind of going on in this call, where your health and well being is at in general, how you're feeling on a day to day basis. Um, like Jamie said, I think the culture that we were in before was more going in the direction that we didn't really want to. It was just that constant fight or flight, it was the constant work harder, like <laughs> you're the problem kind of culture. And it's just, that's not really at all how I felt. And I didn't believe that. And I started to feel not like myself. And that's when it was like, okay, it's time to go. Like it's time to find a new conversation in a new environment. So health and well being is really, really important. And I think even when we're doing healthy things, we can eat all the right things. We can mentally be working on ourselves. We can physically be moving, but we can spiritually be suffering. You know what I mean? And so I think really for me, it's so important to have those things really in balance. And one thing that I really set a hard boundary with when I decided to come to a new company was that exact thing. I will never, never, and will not put myself in a position where my health starts to decline. And that has been, it's been nothing but the complete opposite coming here every single day. And I know a couple of the other advocates, we were talking about this earlier today, Every day, it's like a breath of fresh air. It's like more weight lifted. It's just a very loving um, conditioning environment for 
true health and well-being. And I love that. Um, the second pillar was really finances. I think everyone across the board has their own story with this. Um, I think it's just smart to have a side income in 2024. I am a huge huge advocate of investing for the future. I'm a huge advocate of maintaining and gaining wealth independently. Um, I think it's really smart and I love helping people make money and make smart decisions that way. And there is no faster, greater way to do that than through network marketing. There just isn't, or else I wouldn't have done this again. So I think that that opportunity um, especially at a ground floor, floor level, like Jamie was saying, the company is only a couple of years old and the network is just at this amazing point. Um, it's just such a good opportunity, too good to pass up. And that was important to me because I did feel like I wanted to get away from leading people to failure financially. This is a huge part for me. If I can't also help people improve their life in this area, then I don't really want to put my time into it. And so for me personally, again, this is just me. That is a big element and a big piece. And then the final piece is just your personal, your personal. Um, and what I mean by personal is like your independent self, like your personal goals, your personal alignment, your personal peace, like peace outside of home, outside of spouse, outside of kids, outside of career, whatever it is, like where, where do you personally thrive? What state do you like to live in and be in? Um, for me, that was all about finding more peace, having more joy, um, feeling that motivation and that drive again, that was, is so innate within me. It was starting to kind of like die. I was like, Oh, maybe I'm not ambitious. Oh, maybe I'm not driven. Oh, I don't have any goals anymore. Like I was slowly just dying. And I realized like, this is not me. I am driven. I am ambitious. I do have a lot of goals. I love making money. I love helping people. I love selling things. I like social selling. Like, and so that's when I started to just really try to look for other solutions and get outside of the box and find and have these other conversations. Um, so I think if you can take a minute to just kind of categorize where you're at in some of these areas and just, I think it really does help you to make a decision. I think we lived, I don't know about Jamie, but I lived in limbo for a very long time waiting for something to happen to bring me back, waiting for something that was going to be like, oh, they, that's it. Like I'm back. Finally, they like, we're here again. And it just, it doesn't happen. You really have to create that for yourself and find that. Um, and sometimes it's not in the environment that you're in. Sometimes it is. Um, Jamie, do you have anything to add to that slide? Uh, no, while well, you go on to the next one, I'll just say like, I love that like Instagram meme was like, if the flower didn't bloom, would you blame the flower? Or would you blame the soil, the environment, the nutrients it was getting watered, right? And I can't tell you how many times I like prayed just to like, feel like me again and get my sparkle back. Like I missed, I just would sit for hours and hours at my computer. I wasn't, and like, just feel so, just so burnt out from what I was like, I had zero joy every yeah. day working. So um, and to have that back, I really thought that maybe I just outgrown it. And I was like, ready to move on with another industry completely, or just needed to go get a job somewhere and be an employee for a while. And gosh, I'm so glad that that wasn't the door that God had played. <laughs> because I, um, every day I'm like, I love, I love this. And I always have, and it was just, just time to pivot. Um, we're going to jump into, um, because also same for me, I love helping I love empowering women to take control and men, but women have been most of the people I've gotten to mentor and entrepreneurship to help them take control of their finances. I came from generation, you know, a family on both sides that were bank, you know, declared bankruptcy on welfare. I didn't come from a family with a lot of financial success in my um, family tree. And so I um, really wanted to change my generation, you know, my legacy, like my family's, my family's legacy around financial health. Um, and I love being able to help do the same for women and other people. And so knowing that there, I, I had to know that this place, there were, there were financial wins available for people at every stage. And I, our VP of ops, Amanda, I don't know how many times that we had to get on calls with her. I'm like, I have more questions. Um, but we were really excited about this from a business opportunity. We're really excited. We're going to dig into that. But from the beginning, though, 
you're as a client, as a customer, yeah, there are wins there. Um, and there's a really great way you don't, you know, to save and to really have a lot of value in simply just starting as a customer at any point, you know, whether you are an advocate, no, these are the, these are the, that this is the value you can offer to your customers. Or if you're someone that you're like, you know, I'm going to start as a customer, there's a place for you. There's a program called give 10, get 10, where as a customer, you have your very own unique referral code. Um, my mom has one. I told her, Hey mom, when you, if any of your friends use this link, you will get $10 in product credit. And then they also get $10 in product credit. And she was like, wait, what? I could get free products. So the next thing I know, she's telling me she's sending her link to all these people. <laughs> um, and then it's like, you're just building up this bank of free product just um, as sharing that, sharing that customer link. If at any point my mom wants to become an advocate, all those people who order through her link then automatically get pulled over to her. So she starts with all of her referrals as her first clients, which I think is, which Amazing. is incredible, by the way. It's so incredible, yeah. Unheard of, really. It kind of like yeah. unheard of, it was like a little mind blown. Um, we have an HG Insider program for our customers. It's kind of like a loyalty program. You can get 10% off your first order and free shipping. Um, those HG Insiders also have early access to products and special perks. Um, special like that all the HG Insiders are getting access to our January Masterclass. Um, they also get extra discounts often or early, you know, or the early access to new products before the general population. And um, those HG insiders also just through loyalty and consistency in ordering, they earn product credits just through their monthly orders. So over time, you just kind of like, you'll just build those credits that you can cash in for product for future purchases, which I think is, that's saving money. But that, that's just, a, there's so many ways just to even get your products for free as a customer. And then to earn, to build a business, there are three really great options. Um, Jace, do you want to talk about these or do you want me to? Um, we can kind of both tag team it. This is okay. one that I think you should screenshot if you can. Um, there's just three different ways that you can. This is another reason why I love this comp plan because you, it's not, it's super diverse, just like their, their portfolio and their product catalog that you can be an affiliate, which is basically just a retailer, right? Like um, you get less commission as an affiliate, but you don't build a network or have advocates underneath you and you don't build a team. It's really just straight sales, which is great. Um, there's advocacy, which is what Jamie and I chose to do, which is building a network and helping people earn incomes and build a team. Um, obviously that's the place of most potential, I think, which is why I, did it. Um, you get the most benefits as an advocate. And then there are retailers. And this was also another really exciting piece for me is that I could sign up a retailer in my network, um, a business, like sign up a business. So med spas, um, gyms, like health and wellness, anything. Like if you, if they sell any of our products, cleaning stuff, skin stuff, healthcare, like whatever it is, like that was really exciting to me. Um, and I love that you can kind of dive into the different worlds and kind of discover which pieces of it you love the most. Um, Jamie, what are your thoughts on that? Do you have any extra ads? Yeah. So as an advocate, um, you, you have the ability, like Jay said, to sign up affiliates and retail. So really like you can meet people where they're at. But what I love, and then those people become like those affiliates in the retail businesses become part of your organizational volume, which you'll see in a couple of sides is how you earn. So like you can, and I know I have some, some leaders that have been really, really like really strong in recruiting. Some that have been really over the years that are really strong in sales and some that are really great in sales, but they just can't seem to find someone who also wants to build a big business. And so they were limited, right? You can go ahead and go to the next slide because I think this feeds right into it. They were limited on how how high they could get in the company in terms of rank, in terms of earnings, because there was a lot of there was a lot of recruiting component required to many comp plans in different companies that you had to have a certain number of you know people. And so I see some of my um my best leaders being like, I knew that they could win with the retail opportunity. I'm like, they're so personable. They have such great sales skills and they're so well connected in their communities. I could see them really going and seeing a lot of success, building these relationships, you know, with those boutiques, with those salons, with those yoga bar studios, the CrossFit gyms, whatever. And, um, and seeing a lot of volume come through their business, earning a lot of money by, by leaning into that retail option. I think that's the most unique component of our comp yeah, plan. Same. Um, 
And one of the things that Hugh and Grace really wanted, that one thing Sarah and Ben were really, really, really clear on, they grew up surrounded by um, network marketing companies <laughs> and they had saw a lot of ways that they never wanted it to look like and never wanted it to be. Um, and also just coming from this industry for 10, 12 years, we, we, this is badly need of a facelift, this, this yeah. industry. It's in badly need of a facelift and then we kind of brought into the modern age of social selling, influencers, affiliate networks, things like that. And so what they really, really did was say, we're going to, we're going to modernize this. Modernize it, yeah. And they did. Um, and so um, these are some of the things that we were like, okay, what are our, some of our favorite things? Um, and one of my favorite things is that selling which is the point is getting products in people's hands is can take you very far in the comp plan, take you far, very far in the rank structure and unlocking the different levels of earning, which is, yeah, which is simple. It's just it's so simple. refreshing. It's also refreshing because I feel like if you are like, like Jamie said, you can really lean into your strength and do well and succeed and win where I think a lot of other outdated comp plans, there wasn't a lot of winning. There was winning for the select elite few. And I think that, like she said, you almost, we're just living in a different world. Like it doesn't work like that anymore. Anyone, it can be an influencer. Anybody can sell anything. Everyone is selling everything. So really being able to kind of have some autonomy, I think being able to independently be able to move your needle forward was critical for me. Like I had to live in a space where my volume counted, like my personal volume counted, what I was selling mattered. Like that was so important to me. So one of the big, biggest selling points for me in the comp plan was just the volume ratio, the one-to-one. -one. Um, and it's not perfect in everything based on sales and whatever, but for the most part, it is a one-to-one. -one. You sell a hundred dollars worth of stuff, you get a hundred volume. It's like, very simplistic, 25 to 40% earnings on sales. That's paid out every single week. Um, 25% discount counted pricing on all products for advocates. Um, we've there's just so that go, we've seen that go a couple of times, 35%, even yeah. just in two months, which so. is crazy. And we're like, what? And then it's yeah. crazy. Um, but your own personal volume counts towards your goals. And I thought that was incredible. Like, it's just these things that have been modernized. Like volume is queen here. Customers matter here. That's really cool because for me, I've always been very customer centric and it, it is hard for me when I can't pay the quality and attention to that I want to my customer base. Um, so that was really important. Um, there's a lot of differences in the structure that we came from, but a lot of the things um, just across the board for anyone coming into this, even if it's your first time, you can win right away. And that was also something that was new to us. We <laughs> I think came from one of the hardest comp plans that has ever been created on the planet earth. And so when I saw this comp plan, I was like, I would be a multimillionaire by now if I had had this five years ago. And it then made me instantly sad because so many people like Jamie was saying, um, I just felt like so many really good people who had so much potential and so much drive and ambition couldn't win in this boxed in kind of situation. And I just don't feel like that here. I don't feel like that is even present in the culture. And that's been really, really incredible. Um, they do have boost programs for new advocates. So any volume anybody creates coming out the gate they incentivize, they welcome, they recognize, they acknowledge. And I think that that is amazing. So um, I'm trying to think, what are some of these that we, I think we've gone through most of them. Yeah, I will say there's a couple that are brand new that are launching in the new year that I think yeah. are really fun to talk about. There is a consistency um, bonus that like you can, there'll be this extra, extra, all the bonuses are cash. So, um, you are, and you're also earning like trips and, and perks and stuff like that. But like, as far as the bonus programs, um, the bonus structure, it's just extra money. It's extra cash. So there's, and there's opportunity for it every month. It's not just like every eight weeks or every six weeks. There's like every single month you have a chance to earn on that. Yeah. Yep. Um, all right. So everything's kind of broken into calendar months. So first to the 31st of December is like you know, and then it resets January. Um, but a consistency for continuing to like grow in rank 
um, and our maintain rank, like you hit, you know, so you hit a certain rank and you just, you're, you're, you're solid there. You continue to grow there, but you don't go the next week. You will get a bonus for that. Um, and extra cash, extra earnings is like a good job staying consistent and continuing just to maintain and serve your customers. Um, and then there's also a quarterly bonus that's launching. So the, for the last two years, it's been, um, shared like the, the founding advocates have had the bonus pool. So now they're opening this up to the entire company starting in January and, they're starting at the rank of senior mentor. So I think you can show the next slide, Jace, because then they'll see, like, but starting at the rank of senior mentor, which is that middle one SMT, um, uh, and all the way up, it gets a, a, a profit share. So a certain number of, um, you know, like a certain cut. And then over January, February, March, it'll be like whatever rank you've held those three months, you'll get your, your, your profit share. So that's really nice too, because that's, that was something that was, uh, I was actually sad to say goodbye to. Um, and um, I don't know that what that will look like here, but it'll grow for sure as the company continues to grow. And so I think that's a really, um, a really sexy perk. And then they're also launching in the new year um, advocate product credit, which I think is amazing. So it's fun that the customers can earn product credit, um, but now advocates can earn product credit too. Did I miss anything about the new ones? I think that was I wasn't sure if I was allowed to put new ones in. So I was like, I'll just leave yeah. it how it is. But I will say like this part of it, if you do become an advocate, your sponsor will definitely go through this in more detail. We have liked coordinating these calls with the comp plan guru, Amanda, because she just has such an incredible way of explaining it. And I think it's awesome for her to be able to touch point with the advocates. Um, that's one of the perks I think of coming into organizations when they're young is you get to be part of that foundation and, and really grow the network and build the network with the company. And that's really exciting. There's been a lot of times where our input has mattered, has changed things, has implemented things. And that's awesome. Like it's fun to be at the ground floor level. And so um, this, I recommend taking a screenshot of, but if you want a copy of it, you can always reach out to us and we can give it to you and go over it with you in more detail, obviously. Um, but some of the basic things we just wanted to kind of highlight, because I think there's just a lot of opportunity here. There's a lot of ways that you can do this. I think the first thing that stood out to me on this was you can go all the way to basically mentor. Is it mentor or senior advocate just based on your own personal sales? Like how, you don't even have to enroll someone else <laughs> to do that. So you can advance in rank based on personal volume. And I just thought that was awesome. Um, so do you have anything else to add to this part? No, I think this would be a really fun thing as a follow-up with whoever yeah. invites you, or if, if they're newer and they're like, I don't know how to talk about that. Like reach out to Jay's for, I, I really love nerding out about comp plan and we have a yeah, couple that I will nerd out about <laughs> worksheet scenarios that like you can plug in some numbers or we've got some certain paths and you're like, I really want to know how to get to $2,000 a month or $500 a month. Like we've got some specific roadmaps with what that would look like. And so we'll save that for more one-on-one -on -one and individualized because everyone's going to come in with different goals and that's beautiful, you know? Yeah. Um, so just the basics, if you do decide to become an advocate, we just wanted to show you there are different bundles and sets that you can get as advocates. I know Sarah that's on the call looked at peeked at these, but um, I like to tell people about these because I think it's just kind of cool that you have opportunities to grow in this way. Um, these are the ones that were on the website. Some of these, I don't know. I don't know if this AG home set is still available, but they're changing all the time. They're growing all the time. They're getting better all the time. Um, so you get exclusive bundles when you do enroll as advocates. There is a one-time enrollment fee of $45. There's no monthly fee. You can cancel your advocate account at any time. The only requirement is you have to either, you have to bring in 200 PV. Is that right, Jamie? in a six month period in order for your advocate account to stay open. So that's basically the main, the main pieces of that. And then if you do want to actively earn commission and actively build your business, then a hundred volume is what activates that commission. Yeah. Anything? And both of those things is either your own purchases or a customer purchase. So someone's yeah. looking for their commission. They're like, Oh, well, how do I get my commission? Well, it's, you'll get your commission because you just had a customer. So it's like feeds itself, right? right. Like, um, so, 
Um, and, and if you don't want to sign up with an enrollment set, you can also just sign up with, you know, just go cherry pick whatever you want and get individual items too. But um, the only time you'll ever see a lot of these sets is on the enrollment. That enrollment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we have a couple uh, in two days. There is a special promo with half off your enrollment fee. Um, and I know you mentioned this. I'm just going to say it again for the people in the back. There's no <laughs> monthly business service fee. <laughs> yeah. Um, in a year, there's a $25 renewal fee, um, but that's in a year. So I just thought I would reiterate no monthly business service fee. Yeah, which is amazing, I think. Okay. So final thoughts and questions we're going to get to. Um, I was just going to show this. I'm going to sneak down. I'm going to unshare the screen so we can just talk for a second, but I just wanted to show you this one because that was the end of our trip. So um, thank you for hopping on. I know this was a lot of information. It was really long, but hopefully it was informational and helpful. Um, does anybody have any questions? Were there any questions in the chat? I'm sorry. I wasn't able to see it, but it looks like we're good. So um, we'll definitely do follow-up calls and we'll reach out one-on-one. -on -one. If you have any other questions, let us know. I hope you guys have an amazing holiday. Thank you, Jamie, for your input as always. And we'll see you guys Thank soon. Thank you. I was just looking at the chat. Um, <laughs> just love you all and hope you took some nuggets away. Um, hopefully you're just excited to just, hopefully you're just excited to just take the, like, have a grown up, a, a bigger conversation around wellness <laughs> with, around health with us. Um, and we're here for follow up. If you um, are a, a prospective advocate and you were on this whole call or watched this whole recording, um, there is a ten dollar um, off your ten dollar gift certificate with your name on it. So when you decide to either purchase or sign up as an advocate. So just reach out to me, um, no matter who you're signing up with, that $10 is for you. So um, either let your person who invited you, let, like they'll get the gift card from me or I'll drop it into your account for you. So that is our thank you for just listening and being Happy part of this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Bye.